Roser Girard has to be one of your favorite people because he was briefly iconic in Chicoutimi, which is one of your favorite places. It's a few hours drive north of every other Quebec town of significance, and it's known for its blueberries and its favorable ratio of eligible women to men and its proximity to Lac Saint-Jean, which nobody seems to call uh, Lake Saint-Jean, so I guess we'll be the first. Uh, Roser Girard found a brief patch of ill-reputed fame after a shooting event in his Hotel du Pont on 25 July 1975. The hotel on Bosse Street is better known as the Hotel du Parc, which was called before and after Girard's tenure. It also had a gay bar in the place for a while that opened earlier in 1975, the first one in the region, Daniel Villeneuve's aptly named Gay Bar. Girard was at home curled up in slumberland, or possibly reading a book, or, or probably not, at 1 a.m. on that fateful morning when his phone rang with a call from his son informing him that three young men who had been banned from the place were back and causing trouble. The younger Girard ordered the rowdies out, but they rebelled by knocking over a pool table. Girard called police, but they were unable to send an officer as they were all out helping a Canadian Air Force emergency search for uh, something or other. The trio of rowdy adolescents were known to frequent the banana split bar, considered the worst dump in Shikudami during that time. Uh, they might have been booted from there too, as they showed up a second time at Girard's Hotel du Pont Tavern, and once again behaved in a belligerent fashion, and uh, then returned a third time, this time with another pal. Police had still not shown up by their third visit, and by now Girard Sr. had entered the club, and he was totally a 303 caliber rifle pointed at the floor. Shoot, you dirty dog, you don't have the balls, one of the youth taunted Girard. In the heat of the action, Roser Girard raised his rifle and discharged a bullet, shattering a window which was emblazoned with a poster for a wrestling match. The bullet hit another customer who was not involved in any way with a conflict. Carol Jean, a man, died instantly with a bullet to the heart. Police finally showed up and arrested Roser Girard, and a prosecutor charged him with murder. Girard's impending fate was the talk of Shikudami in August and September of 1975, as residents wondered if he'd end up in prison for life. Defense attorney Louis-Charles Fournier argued that Girard acted in legitimate defense. And after all the evidence, including a coroner's report and witness testimony was in, Judge Mercier gave a 90-minute discourse, clearing Girard of all charges, saying that any jury would have done the same. Girard was a free man, and his name was cleared, and he never returned to the news until now.